We're from Yeovil in Somerset. Um, it's me and my parents and my brother, who's at uni, and I go to school still. We've just finished my GCSEs. It was a Monday morning. Woke up as normal just to get ready for school. My dad was talking to my mum. I spoke to Mandy. Um, I didn't get any response. Um, she was in bed at the time. I reached down to touch her, and uh, her arm was actually cold to the touch, and which was obviously quite a shock. No response. My immediate thoughts were obviously numbness, but um, I reached for the phone and dialed 999, spoke to the operator, told him that I thought my wife had died in the night. And so he then immediately dispatched an ambulance. Um, it was around about this time that Samantha came into the room because she'd heard the commotion. Obviously there was panic to start with. Luckily I was able to start CPR. Um, I started off with the chest compressions and then I did that for 30 chest compressions and then I did two rescue breaths and then kept going for that for about five minutes and then I tired so I showed my dad what to do and he took over. The paramedics took about six minutes to come so at this time me and my dad were carrying on the CPR so my dad was doing CPR whilst I was on the phone. When they arrived they were very positive that the fact that because we had started CPR so early that there might be a chance so they carried on the CPR and were luckily able to use a defibrillator and when they used that, one shock was luckily enough to bring her back. Basically, they think I was not breathing for 15 to 20 minutes. It's a long time, so I was very lucky. We're really proud of her. She's a very clever girl and she knew what to do, so she got on with it. Sam and her brother had both been to the Oval Life Saving Club, um, which used to be on a Friday evening for an hour. And um, although it was primarily it was a swimming club, but it was swimming life-saving, so um, one of the things that they were taught was uh, CPR. I think it's one of those things you just don't think you're ever going to use, though, in real life. Um, so we'd never really thought about us being trained or anyone else being trained. We thought, you know, she enjoyed going along to the swimming club and having a good time, but we didn't really look at it as a, as a, as a skill that she was going to need in real life. You know, at the end of the day, on your own mother, it must be really frightening to think you're doing this and she just got on with it, bless her. It was just sort of over a period of sort of probably sort of two or three weeks, she sort of very slowly recovered, uh, gradually came out of the coma that she'd been induced into, and uh, eventually um, we got her back and we got the old, uh, the old Mandy back, and, uh, and she's made a remarkable recovery since then. It's important to have a go because no matter what, you can't do any more damage, and even if you can't do the rescue brush, you can do hands-only CPR. I'd seen the Vinnie Jones video that the British Heart Foundation produced, so that helped, certainly. Um, just hard and fast, potentially make a big difference between somebody living or not living in that sort of event. It does feel very much like a dream, really. Um, looking back now at the actual incident, it doesn't seem quite real, you know, it's almost like it happened to somebody else. Something like that happening, it does make you sort of reassess life, just doing simple things, just going out for a nice walk on a Sunday afternoon is something that uh, you appreciate more, I think, having been through something like that. Before the event, I was quite shy. I wouldn't speak up in front of people or just a quiet girl. But afterwards, I've campaigned. So I've spoken in front of MPs and in front of workers and just normal people. And it's made me want to fight for something to get CPR in schools and defibrillators in public places. We don't think about it too much, but every time we see her, you know, or something happens, we reflect on it and we just feel proud. And we, last year, when it was one year, we went out for a meal just to celebrate the fact that she was still here.